Hi, my name is Alan Prost and I'm going to demonstrate for you today how to attach a heated humidified circuit to the Draeger XL ventilator. Now this approach could apply to any type of ventilator, it's a little bit unique to the Avita, but it could be basically applied to any ventilator and the idea is to attach the circuit safely and cleanly to the ventilator and get it ready for our patient use. Right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to wash my hands. Now the ventilator should have came up uh, it's prepared for patient use, so it's come up from Biomed, it's been pre-checked, and it's uh, been cleaned on the outside. Now, we still have to do our initial um, pre-check on the ventilator um, just before patient use, and we have to do um, our, um, our initial settings before we put it on the ventilator the patient. Okay? So my hands are nice and clean now. So I'm going to come around to the back. All these components should have been clean, but we still consider them to be a little bit on the dirty side. So. I'm going to plug it in, attach my, my gas sources. All right, so I've done that. I'm going to turn the ventilator on, and I'm going to put it in a standby right off the bat. Okay, so I am touching the ventilator with clean hands. All the external parts of the ventilator should have been cleaned from Biomed, but we can't be guaranteed. Okay. So first thing I do is I put my ventilator in a standby. All right, so I can do my device check. So I hit standby mode, just going to apply it standby, hit reset. So I'm ready to do my device check. So now I'm getting ready to apply the circuit to the ventilator. All right, so here's a good time to get our gloves on. Now, I'm assuming that my circuit is clean, it's just, and sterilized, it's come up from, uh, from, uh, from cleaning. And normally at a, in a hospital, this would be all in a nice clean bags for us. All right? And a lot of the components would be brand new. But for our purposes, we've got it in a nice sterile box that's just come up from clean. So I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay. All right. So I'm going to open up. And with a heated circuit, there's a lot of components, so you've got to develop a little bit of a strategy. One of the things I do is put on the heated uh, humidifier pot, first thing, all right? So we can do that right on our ventilator here. And you notice I'm not touching any components but the circuit components. Now with the Avita ventilator, I also have a couple other unique components I have to put on, the exhalation valve and the flow sensor, all right? So those simply, simply click into place, just like this. So I don't have to touch anything else except those components while I'm doing that. Next part is the actual circuit itself. Right. Now, there's a little piece here that comes, that comes from the ventilator right, to our heated humidifier. So I want to make sure I hook that up, and I often do that first. Next part is the actual circuit itself. So take it out of the container, so try to keep it as clean as possible. Often I'll just drape it over the circuit, just over the little holder there to try to keep it as clean as possible. All right. Now in this circuit, the blue part is the inspiratory side. All right. So I'm going to make sure I hook that up to my heated pot. All right. And the expiratory side attaches right here to the exhalation valve. Each ventilator is going to, that's going to be unique. The next part of this is we it's come clean, all ready for use for our patient, is the heating wires that's going to connect the humidifier to our circuit. So I keep these wires clean. This plugs in just into the appropriate fitting, just at the back on the side of the humidifier. One part connects to the heated side of the circuit, just at the back. And the other part here connects to the exhalation part of the circuit. Right, that's unique to a heated, humidified circuit, so that comes up here. Then the other part of this is our probes. All right? Now you're going to handle these so that they don't touch anything else. All right? Just your, your fingers here. So one part of the one temperature probe comes in here at my circuit and comes back, follows along the circuit until I have a second humidifier probe 
that attaches right here by the humidity, humidity pot. You can hear that click in a place. And the other part of that attaches right here to my humidifier. And you can hear that just click in a place. So I still have my hands clean. I haven't touched anything else. I've tried to keep it as clean as possible. And you'll notice I certainly haven't touched the end of my, uh, my patient circuit. All right. Now with a heated humidifier, this does not attach. Um, we don't use an HUMF, so that will attach directly to our endotracheal tube. We may use a flex connector, all right, such as uh, we have right here. All right. We may put that on the end of our circuit, and that will be clean and unique to the patient as well. So make sure that's ready. Now I'm ready to do the checkout on my ventilator. So I can go in here, I can do my device check. Once my ventilator's all set and ready to go, all right, so now I, you could, I may have touched the ventilator, I may have touched other things. So before I attach the circuit to my patient, which is right here, I'm going to get a nice clean pair of glass. Once I got my nice clean gloves on, make sure that I'm clean just before. All right. So I always make sure I keep one hand clean, ready to attach to my patient. So I've got that ready. Now I'm going to dirty this other hand by touching the ventilator. So I can go take it out of standby. All right. And the ventilator's on. I've double checked all my settings, and I can simply hook up to my patient. So that gives you a basic approach and system to, uh, or method to prepare your ventilator for clinical use. All right? So I'm Alan Prost. Thank you very much.